Yes. You're alive. We're here today at the Arvin Housing Authority meeting of April 6, 2023. Could we please stand um, for the pledge? But before we do, this uh, is, is being recorded, and we'd like to know if anyone else is recording the meeting. Seeing none, uh, Ramonica is um, in remote for this meeting. There she is. There she is. Hi, Monica. Hi. How are you? Hi, Monica. Hi, Monica. Let's stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Trust vote to approve the warrant for March 2023. Do I have a motion? We're going to pass on this. We're going to pass on that? Yep. Okay. Um, discussion and vote to approve the minutes for March 16th, 2023. We're going to pass on that. We're going to pass on that too? They're finished, but they weren't distributed. Distributed in time. Uh, discussion and vote to approve the... Policies, credit card policies, damage charge policy, disposition policy, doorway, common hallway, obstruction policy, emergency policy, employee and drug alcohol policy, and employment policy, entry policy, <laughs> energy conservation policy, entrance and apartment for suspected medical emergency policy. Um, do I have a motion? Motion. Do I have a second? I second. Wayne is. Uh, I have. Uh, I have. Discussion. I have a, a one correction on one of the policies, and that's okay. the Auburn Housing Authority employment policy. Okay. And that will be. Uh, the correction. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'd like to add the word "men" to that to that uh, sentence. Uh, all positions for employment with Auburn Housing Authority will be advertised in news media that will reach men, women, minorities, and disabled. So I added the word men. Okay. So now I need a motion to approve that policy as amended. Do I have a motion? Do I have a second? Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I could take a motion for the other policies, for all of them. I move all the policies the, the, uh, dis with discussion and vote for all, uh, um, all those policies that we have listed. Do I have a second? I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Thank you. Executive Director's Report. I just found out this morning this from HUD that we've continued to be a high performer. I left a copy of this on the table at each of your spots. So. Yes, yeah, thank you. And our, out of a possible 100, we scored a 98. That's great. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So, as far as the federal side goes, we're cooking with gas. <laughs> On the state side, not so much. So, they're coming in next Thursday to do whatever they do. And we're just going to go with. They have automated all these different systems, they're micromanaging everything the Housing Authority does, but the reality of it is we're not just a state program, we're predominantly a federal program. So the state is requiring us to do all this extra work, but they're not even, budget-wise, our salaries are split. Yeah. The federal program pay, pays more than the state, 
but the state is requiring all the sex to work. So we're going to just do the best we can. They put something out, then they change it. Then all of a sudden now everything needs to be uploaded into the system so they can evaluate what we're doing. And this is in response to the housing authorities that had big problems like Chelsea and fraud and stealing right. money and all this other stuff. So this is their response is to the big housing authorities and the small housing authorities are required to do the same amount of work. The only problem is they have a staffing to complete these things that are mandated, whereas we're kind of struggling. So we seem to have Champ in a good space. Now they want um, the work order system, the inspection system, all that stuff has to be uploaded. So we have the information, but we've had issues getting it into the system. So one of the people offered to come out on Monday to see if he could help us upload it for Thursday. So we'll see what happens. But I'm not um, putting a lot of hope into it. And if they turn around and they give us findings, then we're just going to go back and fix what we have to fix. But they're micromanaging. Like they're going to tell us how many days it takes to turn over an apartment. Well, depending on what's going on, we may not be able to do it within 14 days. That's quick. They're assuming that we have a licensed plumber, that we have a licensed electrician, that we have a carpenter that does the rugs. We don't. We have to depend on vendors to come in and do the work. So we're at their mercy as to when, based upon their schedule, when they can actually come. So we might not fall within their guidelines. And what they've done is different than what the federal pro program requires. So now we're going to have two different standards of when things need to be done and how they need to be done between the two different programs. Right. It's just a lot more work and a lot more stress for the maintenance staff, and the office because it's like you have to wait for people to come in and view the apartment. If they tell you they can't come within a couple of days, then what are you going to do? You really can't go beyond them. You've got to give them an opportunity to come in. Right. But in the meantime, the clock is ticking, tick, 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 tick. So I'm at the point where it's like we're going to do the best we can. We can show that we're not idiots. We scored very high on the federal side. Yeah. So if the state is lagging, oh well, oh well. Keep making right. these changes. The, the training is sketchy and they're in a panic now because oh, all, all of a sudden they're gonna come out the week we're supposed to get an inspect, inspection and they're gonna help us upload the stuff. I mean, that's very thoughtful of them, really. Through the chair? Yeah. I would suggest we document, document, document because and they it's know. going to cover us. They know. If, because, yeah, but it's all right for them to know, but we need to document what we did and what, what, what the result was. The and emails are the documentation. That. We Absolutely. keep emailing them. That's good. You know, so, but will we catch up eventually? Yes. Are we going to do well on this one? I'm not so sure. Well, as long as you're doing, working Proving it and yep. doing what you need to do, at least you're showing that you're working on it. Mm -hmm. You know, you are moving forward to correct anything you need to correct. And we're clearly not a bunch of screwballs, or we wouldn't have scored as federal science as we did. That's right. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. it is what it is. So they're supposed to come next Thursday, and we'll go from there. Some of the things we should do okay on, other things not so much. But I don't that's have to. It? That's it. Larry's on. Okay. Any member I like about? Um, no public comment. I I would just like to comment that I think this score that we received is as a high performer in ninety eight out of a hundred. 
is really showing that our staff is doing everything they possibly can, everybody, or we would be back this school. Thank Especially you. that high. I know. Yeah, you can thank everybody there. Yeah. And that's looking at all of it, the fiscal, the financial, the management piece of it. I was surprised. But now, if you need to, um, do we have the money in the budget to get another employee if you need to? We have the money on the federal side, yeah. but it's not the federal side we have the problem with. It's the, the state, state side. Mm -hmm. And do you have it in the state it, side? There's an actual, there's a position in the office for 18 hours that was budgeted. But just that's... Just getting somebody and that's... We yeah. can't, I'm not going to just turn around and put somebody in because that position is federal and state. Do you know what I mean? The state yeah. didn't just yeah. pay for an extra person. Right. So I'm not going to turn around and use federal funds no. to support the state no. program. No, Absolutely not. No. Good. I'm not going to jail. So the state can either come up with a solution or it, we're going to do the best we can. Yeah. Well, and this is the thing. It, it's like the programs, there's two separate programs, two separate separate funding sources but for one program to have all these demands of time and energy when they're not paying for all that time is unreasonable but i figure let them come in let them write us up cite us for whatever because then i can go back at them and say hey listen we just we're not screwballs it clearly shows on the federal side that we're doing our job well. But we'll, we'd like to do the state piece as well, but we're just not there. Right. We go from there. Yeah. I mean, I'm, not, I'm gonna tell the truth, it is what it is. You know, right. but I'm not gonna take state, use federal resources on a state program. If the state wants this stuff done, then they need to, we need to redo the budget maybe and get somebody in here that's just going to do the state work, only state work, because they have all these software programs set up where we're supposed to account for every single thing, all the work orders, all have to be uploaded. I mean, that's a lot of work. Yeah. So we'll just see what they say. Okay. But if we, if we don't do well, that's why. And then they can help us find Don't a solution. Don't sell yourself short. Just wait and see what happens. And what we improve on, we improve on. But the beauty of it is they can't say that we're not doing a good job. We might not be doing a good job on their program, but we're predominantly federal. We have more federal units than we have state. Right. And we're doing a bang-up job on the federal side. So obviously if we have issues on the state, then we're going to find a way to fix it. There you go. And they can help us. Mm -hmm. And not just help us to hurt us. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. A lot of times they come in and it's like, oh, we're only here to help. Really? I was born, but it wasn't yesterday. <laughs> and it wasn't the day before. So it's like there's always a catch 20. Oh, yeah, we're so, we're so helpful. They're covering their own butts because they're working remotely. Sure. They're working from home. So they're looking for reasons to justify their job. So they're but, all still working remotely? <laughs> but it's not going to be at our expense. I'm going to just say that to you right now. Right. Okay. So that's all. Now, Mom. Now you're done? Yep. Okay. Uh, any public comment? I think I did that, didn't I? Seeing none. Um, date for our next meeting will be May 4th. 2023 at 10 o'clock. Do I have a motion for that? Motion. Do I have a second? I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do you want to do a roll call vote now? Because Monica is actually... Well, you all approved it, so I mean, I don't think you need it when everybody votes for it, right? Do you need a roll call vote? 
We'll make a roll. We probably should do it. We should have done the roll call vote at the beginning of the meeting. Okay, we'll do so it. So we'll do it. And now, now that we did do it. Going forward, we'll do it all the time. At the beginning of the meeting. Okay. Uh, in the training. Roll call vote from Rose. Yes. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> here. Roberta. Here. Oh, here. 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 Monica. Here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, now meeting adjourned. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Thank you. Bye, La Monica. Bye, Monica. Bye, Monica. Bye. 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 Bye.